Good morning to each one. I am uh, fishing here this morning on Saturday, March or May the 17th, and fishing here at our reservoir. And I am Mr. Benji's dad, and so I want to share a little bit of a insight here that I had about being a spotter. We are to uh, be uh, concerned about each other. Galatians chapter 6 verses 1 and 2. You can check those out, but it talks about bearing one another's burdens and also the idea of uh, looking out for each other. And so when you look, up, you think about a spotter, someone that is uh, looking out for someone else, especially when you're thinking of lifting weights or uh, different applications that you're supposed to be watching out for what that other person is doing and keep him safe and you have care and concern about what he's doing and so in Galatians chapter 6 verses 1 and 2 we certainly can read about that and the uh, importance of that so last Saturday we were in Georgia we have Ben she has two sisters in Georgia and so we were down visiting them and he the one son-in-law that I have has a chicken house has chicken houses and he had a broken water pipe and so we needed to get a backhoe and dig out for this broken water pipe and also uh, uh, you know fix it and then cover it up again what whatever the responsibilities would be and so my responsibility uh, in this situation was the idea that uh, Daryl, our son-in-law, was uh, depending on me to watch that he does not hit the more of the water pipe and break more of the water line as uh, he just had a small leak that could be repaired. And so we don't want to have a big, a bigger project, excuse me, a bigger project. And so my job was to watch where he's digging. And so we got close to the water pipe, but we forgot that there's also an electric line in there and we did not quite have that in mind when he was digging and he hit the electric line and broke it. And my job would have been, uh, my concern was that we don't hit more of the water pipe and more uh, and anything else. And so uh, I feel like my spotting was a bit of a failure. I should have been more concerned about what where he's digging and and taking care of my job and uh, the the concerns that were, you know responsibility that was given to me was that uh, I would watch out what's going on and he hit that line of course it smoked it was down in the water so it was kind of dangerous to check on what the da damages were but so my spotting was a bit of a failure. Then Monday morning we came back to fix the electric and a couple electricians were there and men that knew exactly what's going on. And so I was kind of just in the background and yet I felt also responsibility. I was kind of the oldest person around there. And so I thought I need to uh, watch what's going on kind of in the background. And I had this in mind that I didn't do such a good job on Saturday because we hit that electric line and I was standing there watching and the one man, the main man, the man that understood the electric and knew exactly what all uh, electric entailed and where the wires were and all that stuff was, he was cutting with a Zawzall into a conduit, which that's a piece of pipe with electric lines inside wires inside and so he was cutting through this pipe and all of a sudden i realized the last second i my mouth opened to yell for his name to stop cutting because i saw he was cutting the wrong piece of pipe and he sh he should have known but in other words my spotting again failed and I wasn't necessarily given the title of a spotter, you know, or anything like that, but it just kind of was my, uh, felt a concern to, to do what I could do as I was there uh, uh, helping them work. And so, uh, again, we had a, a failure in the spotter. And so my encouragement to everybody this morning is as we go through life and we see someone else that's hurting or someone that needs help, someone that's struggling with a, with a problem and 
they they're 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 working hard at trying to get rid of a habit or whatever it might be you know are you and i concerned for that other person are we spotting properly when we could do something uh, to help them are we are we doing our job and so uh, just a reminder read galatians 6 uh, chapter 6 verses 1 and 2 and you will find that the bible gives instructions to bear one another's burden uh, to, to watch out for each other and where we can, we can, we should be able to help. We should try and help and do what needs to be done. Well, that's it for this morning. Hopefully you'll be encouraged and challenged by Galatians chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. And here's more of the scenery uh, of this lake. Beautiful morning. And my fishing line is there. I don't know if you can see it, but my fishing rod is there. And it's not really moving too much. Uh, so uh, that's why I'm doing this video for you. So Lord bless you and see you sometime.